I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere and the Exam Scam Certification Series of Guides. I'd love it if you headed over to my website, www.pulpjava.com or examscam.com, and uh, bought a couple of copies of my books off me. Um, I appreciate all the support. It's always best to buy it off us. Um, you can also get it on Amazon too, but we ship it out a little bit faster. I actually created a couple of EJBs, a stateful timer and a stateless timer. I actually just wanted to show you how you can test those. You just right click on your timer. Um, I'm in uh, J2EE module right now, Project Explorer. Select Run on Server. Um, you just create your EJB module. You might want to stop your server and then start your server up again. When you go to your test client, hopefully your EJB that you clicked on will show up. Now, in order to actually work with an enterprise Java Bean, you have to go through its its home interface first. And so here you can actually see the home interface, stateless timer home, and it has a method called create, which returns an instance of the timer remote interface. So I'm going to invoke that method. It says that I got a remote interface back. Okay, so you knock on the front door, you knock on the front door of the house, it gives you the remote interface. I can work with that remote interface. And the methods that I get from this remote interface include things such as get elapsed time and start. So I'm going to start this particular method. Okay, it gives me a start time. This is my state list timer. And yeah, that's my start time. I just copied it. Now this is the method also called okay, I'll work with object. There's a the method called get elapsed time. I'll put that start time in there. Invoke the get elapsed time method. And let me see. Value v problem there. Invoke that method and you can see now it says that uh, 28 seconds have gone by since I first started the EJB. Invoke again. It says 36 seconds. Invoke again. And that's the idea with an EJB. You go through the home interface, you create the object, you get the remote interface, the remote interface is the business methods, and then you can invoke the business methods. Now I also had a state full timer. I'm going to test that one as well. Now that one actually had an instance variable, so it was stateful as opposed to being stateless. But again, there's my stateful timer. If you want to actually use an EJB, you always have to go through the home interface. I've got methods like create, so I'll invoke the create method. I get the remote interface back. I say I want to work with the object. And there's the object there. I'm going to say start the timer, invoke completed successfully. I'm going to say, hey, give me the start time. Notice it's kept track of this for me. It's state full. I'm going to say, hey, get me the elapsed time. Okay, so about 10 seconds have elapsed. Looks good. You can even reset. And now I'll get elapsed time again. Notice it's only been about two and a half seconds since I reset it. I'll both get elapsed time again. It's going to have about seven seconds, nine seconds. But that's the idea. When you actually are working with Enterprise Java Beans, all you have to do is right click on your EJB, say run, run on server, the universal test client will come up, and you can use the universal test client to debug your code. Um, you can also use it for doing some JNDI and, and taking a look at some of your class loaders as well. Um, but a real helpful tool for testing and debugging your EJBs. Now, as I said, I am the author of What is WebSphere? I would really appreciate it if you headed over to my website, www.pulpjava.com, picked up a copy of that, um, and as well, even a copy of some of my exam scam certification guides. Um, you can get them on Amazon, but we always appreciate it if you buy it directly off us from our website. Um, we usually get a bit of a discount on some of the books, and uh, we always ship the books out uh, the very next day. Anyways, that's about it for testing your EJBs. The last thing I want to say is happy WebSphere.